We're getting more developments out of Southern California where people are preparing for their first tropical storm in more than 80 years. Hurricane Hillary, now in category one, is expected to make landfall as a tropical storm later today and bringing catastrophic flooding, some heavy winds and downpours with up to 10 inches of rain expected in some areas. California Governor Newsom, uh, Gavin Newsom, declared a state of emergency yesterday, deploying more than 7,000 responders. He's been pleading with residents to try to stay safe during what officials say will be the wettest tropical cyclone in state history. Please, please listen to emergency personnel, local officials, take seriously debris flows and floods, flash floods, lightning, possibility of tornadoes, stay safe. Well, so far, residents have been evacuating. They have begun evacuating parks and beaches. They're closing, and first responders are bracing for dangerous water rescues. That's how people stay out of the water, as they have been warned. Let's go back now to CNN meteorologist Allison Chinchar. Allison, let, let's talk about the flood threat from the storm, because officials in the southwest region are really trying to drive home the point that it is the rain that could pose some threats. Right, that's right. I mean, yes, you're going to have a wind component. You're going to have other components to this, but the rain is really the biggest threat out of this particular system. We're already starting to see the rain showers begin across Southern California, Nevada, as well as Arizona, but it's going to continue to spread elsewhere as we go through the rest of the day today. We're talking about widespread totals of two to four inches, some even exceeding eight to 10 inches. So you've got this high risk area right here in pink surrounding that a moderate risk that includes Las Vegas, Los Angeles and San Diego and what they're talking talking about is the potential for excessive rainfall. I know you hear two to four inches and you think, gosh, that doesn't sound bad, especially if you live east of the Rockies. But take this into perspective. This right here is last summer, Death Valley National Park. All of these cars trapped in mud flow after a severe flooding event took place after, wait for it, less than an inch and a half of rain fell. This was caused by less than an inch and a half of rain, and that's because this area averages only two inches in a year. The forecast for the next 36 to 48 hours is two to four inches. So this is what we talk about when we say severe flooding, because in these areas, it doesn't take much. They're going to get a year's worth of rain in about 24 hours. That's also why you've got the flood watches, and it's not just for the Southwest. These spread into some of the Northwest states as well, because that's where the system is headed.